Annyeong! Welcome back to my channel. Today um, is a special day because I'm here to celebrate the new year by eating things by myself that I bought from the convenience store. So, I'm going to show you what I got and I'm going to try everything one by one. Strange and wonderful things from the convenience store. Let's go. The first thing I have here are these two cup noodles. And one is wasabi mayo. It says it has egg flakes and parsley. And there's like a picture of a carrot. It smells like wasabi. And this is... And the second thing I have is something much different. So both of these are the kind of noodles that you don't leave the water in. You have to take the water out. And this one is called nogu bonara, which is like a spinoff on... Carbonara, but there's another ramen in Korea called Loguri, which is basically is translated to raccoon and uh, It's very famous for having like a seafoody taste. I have no idea what that has to do with raccoons But it's a very famous ramyeon and this is like the new newest version of it So I'm gonna try this one out. This one has been here for a while, but this one is really brand new So I want to try them for you and I have this rice circle and it's spicy pork cutlet so there's like a round pork cutlet and then the rice is like spicy okay and then i have this which is something that you're going to find in korea a lot and a lot of foreigners find it very strange it is the like sausages in wrappers and there are all kinds of sausages and this one is a special kind because there's usually two kinds that you can find. There are the fish cakes and the sausages, but this one is combined. So it's a sausage that is covered in fish cake and my cat is looking at it like he wants it. So let's hope he doesn't come up here. And then for my drink, I have mango lingo, which is a mango flavored fruit mix, but it's alcoholic. It's 2.5% alcohol. And then for dessert, I have two kinds, wait, I have three kinds. This is the um, corn jelly. So there's a Korean chip that looks like the quintessential corn snack. So it's just like a corn flavored snack. And then I have this, which is Galamansi yogurt pepero. And it's the kind of pepero that's like shorter and fatter and more delicious. So I'm hoping that my Filipino fam will love this, okay? And then last, I have some chips. It says Dakji Horongui Mal. Which is basically just like a, a squid flavored, an octopus flavored, but it's the kind of octopus that is seasoned and then it's put around a stick. So like a long octopus will be put around a stick. So I'm just gonna eat everything. Great way to end the New Year's. Cheers. It's deliciously fruity with actually no hint of beer flavored because there are I went to Taiwan and I had like mango flavored beer it has like a beery flavor but this was really really sweet and mangoey so I'm gonna try the wasabi mayo first so if you ever come to Korea I hope you try all the different wonderful kinds of ramen we have because there's so many and these are the ones that I thought were a little strange for normal people. Mm. I think I'm just hungry. There's a distinct mayonnaise flavor, but what cuts the richness of the mayo is the wasabi. So how is how how was everybody's uh, holiday? Were you having a good time? I actually have more work during vacations, and I hope that in the new year I'll make more videos to entertain everybody. Let me show you what this ramen has inside. There's like little little fish cakes in the shape of a raccoon, and you can eat that. Now this one's a little spicy, like the the wasabi is spicy, but in a different way, if you know what I mean. So 
So out of one to five, I think the spiciness level would be like a, a three. For me. It tastes like seafoody, and it says carbonara, but in actuality, it doesn't really have like a carbonara taste. It kind of has a cheesy aftertaste. I actually prefer this to the wasabi. What should I try next? So this is what the sausage fish cake looks like. Sausage is peeking out. Mmm. To be completely honest, I never had this before, but this is really good. The fish cake is almost like bready. So it's kind of like a corn corn dog. So what are everybody's plans for the 31st? Do you guys have any traditions? I'm gonna try this next. In Korea, usually what you do on the 31st is you go and look at the sunrise. And then after that, you eat rice cake soup. Because in Korea, there's something called Korean age and you are one year old when you're born. So every year, Depending on what year you were born, your age just goes up, regardless of whether your birthday has passed or not. So my birthday is in July. So on January 1st, I will become 28 in Korean age, but I'm still 27. It's confusing, but yeah, I don't know why they do that in Korea, like make yourself older, but that's what they do. So I'm going to turn 28 on January 1st. Hmm. I really like these round rice balls more than the triangle ones. I don't know why. That was close. For my New Year's Eve, I think I'm very like not Korean when it has to do with all these like traditional days or like customs. Mostly because I lived abroad, you know, it's a little different for people who are living abroad but are, you know, trying to fo follow the customs. For those of you who don't really like the taste of alcohol, I really recommend this. It literally tastes like a mango drink. If your body doesn't really take to alcohol really well, then if everybody's like drinking a beer, then you can drink this and it's going to be much better and more delicious. So in 2018, my goals for this channel would include, first of all, uploading frequently. And I did lose a lot of subscribers over this. Um, I feel like if I had uploaded more often, I would have more subscribers, of course, because, you know, more videos, more exposure, but I'm just so surprised that a lot of you have kept your hopes up on me uploading another video and just like commenting on my videos and giving them likes. And so I'm happy that I can share my life with a lot of people, especially people from other countries. <sighs> so I'm gonna upload often and let me try this. Little chips look like this, little twists. That crunch though. It's very savory. And it tastes kind of sweet. 
kind of salty. And a little spice. It's good. Another goal I have for this channel is I'm going to invest in some equipment. Um, first of all, I think a camera because my GoPro isn't really cutting it for me. Like it's so annoying to like set it up because I really can't see what's happening because there's no screen on the GoPro Hero. I think I'm the Hero 4, the GoPro Hero 4. If I were able to see myself, then it'd be easier to set up. But then, if I buy like a, an LED display thing where you can actually see yourself on the GoPro, it's like an add-on. And first of all, the battery life isn't that good for Hero 4 at all. And I heard this is true for all of the Hero, all of the GoPros, like the battery life just doesn't really cut it. And you can buy like add-ons to help the battery life, but I feel like that's just another waste of money like if I'm gonna buy all these add-ons then just let me buy another camera uh, but I feel like it's good for me to have the GoPro for when I'm out and about and I'm going to take more footage of when I'm out it really is embarrassing because in Korea um, more and more people are vlogging but you just don't really see people going around talking to cameras. Um, another goal is I want to take footage that I took in 2017 and 2016 that I didn't make into videos. It takes me to another point. I think I'm going to expand my content to include not just food because I do a lot of food stuff like cooking, trying things. I want to do more like um, maybe story time videos. I'm not really good at t telling stories, but I feel like I have some stories that are very particular to like living in Korea or maybe general topics that people might be interested in. Like, how is it like working in Korea in a Korean company? Or what's the dating culture like in Korea? And what are a lot of what do Korean students think of foreigners? I mean, I could bring Korean students and then we could talk about that. So I, which brings me to the next point. I really want to bring a lot more guests onto this channel because right off the bat in the beginning when I made this channel, um, if you remember my old school videos for all of those uh, old school viewers out there, you remember I had like my sidekick with me and he was always there like, our thoughts on creating the channel was we should make this like a community. So yes, I think I have a lot more content planned. And let me try this. The dessert now. But I guess everything has to do with be me being motivated to just pump out content. This comes in little packages like this. They're so cute. This is calamansi peperu. So I'm, I'm definitely planning on doing more collaborations with um, other YouTubers as well. Remember when I did the collaboration with Stitch? I've, I'm going to... We were planning this like when we met <laughs> the first time. We were like, okay, we should definitely go to Hewa and go to the Filipino market. So that is definitely going to happen when it gets a little warmer. Because right now, Korea is frigid cold. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's like a really rich buttery white chocolate with a hint of citrus. It doesn't necessarily taste like calamansi but it's really good. There's a hint of yogurt, but it just is really rich. But then that lemon, citrus, calamansi, so good.
I think that's like the best thing I ate. Like, snack. Ever. Even if you don't like citrus things, I really recommend this. Like, I'm not really a fan of citrus things, but this is really a good balance. And if you look at the box, it like use the information of keywords in SNS. And, um, so it used keywords from SNS and they analyze all this data of people's interests. And their interests were calamansi, health, chocolate, refreshingness, I guess a tart, tartness. Sankuma and yogurt. And calamansi, the funny thing about that is in the Philippines, you know, you use it in cooking. Like, you use it to, um, you use a lot of calamansi in food, as in also a lot of savory food, like on meats and things like that, and in different seasonings. But in Korea, we use a lot of vinegar, we don't use a lot of citrus. So it's hard to find lemons and limes, but nowadays they've gotten more common. So in Korea, a lot of people were drinking calamansi juice as a detox, like concoction. And that's really funny to me because, you know, I was from the land of calamansi and during that time, I never thought of it as a diet, anything. This is an interesting flavor and I really recommend it. Now the last thing I'm gonna try are these corn jellies. Oh my god, it smells like it. It smells like the savory corn snack. This is gonna be weird because it's gonna be sweet. It's covered with sugar. Uh, and it's... Okay, let's try it. First of all, the texture is very gelatinous, but in like a chewy way. So it does not have a lot of give. It's kind of chewy, like rubber. It has a, it's basically just sweet. And then it has a corn, like, scent. Doesn't really taste like corn. Doesn't really taste like the chips. Doesn't really taste like anything. It just tastes like sweet jelly with a hint of corn. And that's not very delicious at all, is it? Oh, okay. Like, I'm into salt, salty and sweet, but that just had like a weird, not this or that kind of flavor. So I hope most of you will um, come along in my 2018 YouTube journey. I hope that you stay tuned. And I promise you that I will make more videos. Promise. Promise me. Give me a promise. Okay, I promise that I'm gonna make more videos. I hope you have a good uh, year end and I hope you stick around. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Until next time, Annyeong!